In this video, you're going to learn how to create a basic mind map using the free free mind mind mapping software. So you need to start by making sure you have downloaded that software onto your computer. You can get that at freemind.sourceforge.net. Now you'll need to open the program and click on file up in the right hand corner and new. And that'll bring up a blank screen with just one node in the center. And you can start by just editing the text in that node. So I'm going to just click on it, erase what's there by highlighting it, and click okay, My Demo Mind Map and enter. And now you have your main center node. Next step is to add a child node onto this. And you can do that in a few different ways. A child node is one that comes off of here. You can go up to the top and click on the light bulb, and that'll immediately enter and add that node, and say that's topic one. I click enter, but you could also do that by right clicking, make sure it's highlighted, by clicking on the node, right click, and you'll see there's an option when you go down for new child node. There's a light bulb that tells you what the option is in the top menu, or the other option is to just click insert on your keyboard. So if we want to add another child node, I have this center one highlighted because it's grayed out, and then I'm going to click insert on my keyboard and insert it a, another child node to the left this time of the center. And I'll talk in later videos about how you can move them from side to side. So let's say that's topic two, enter. Now if you want to add another node onto the end of these, so to create a branch, highlight the one you want to add another node to. I'm going to this time click right click and click on new child node and it'll come off of that one. So let's say that's subtopic. Enter. Now if I want to add several going down underneath each other, you can just, when you've done adding text to one, just click enter and we'll be able to add more child nodes. And again, click Enter, and you'll have another one. And you can keep doing that as far out as you want. So again, you use the Insert key on your keyboard to add a child node, or you go up to the top and click on the light bulb, or you right-click to pop up that Edit menu where you can add various things. Now to remove a node, you can highlight it, right click, or go to your top edit menu. I like to use the right click, and you'll see you have the choices here, one of which is remove node, and you just click on that. You'll get a little pop-up that comes up that confirms, and you click yes. Or the other way, I'm going to go up and undo that. There's an undo option in the top. I'm going to click that. And the other way is to just click on it so that it's highlighted and grayed and click delete on your keyboard. And again, you'll have that pop up and you can click yes. And now if you want to edit the text in the node, so go back, you don't like what you've typed in there for instance, you can click on it, right click, and click either edit node or edit long node. Edit node is just going to open up the simple editing box and you can say subtopic uh, revised and enter. Or you can right click and click on edit long node and that's going to bring up a box that gives you more options for formatting that text. So for instance say I want to make this one bold I can highlight it, I can change the text, but you'll have your standard editing functions here. There's cut, copy, paste, there's bold, so I can make it bold, I can make it bigger. So say I want it much bigger, I can change the font to something completely different, like a standard Arial. And so on, you can change the color. There's a little box for that, and that'll bring a pop-up box where you can change the color of the font. And that's it. Click OK, and click OK again. 
and we'll go through more of these editing and format, formatting options in the next video. But for now you want to save this, so you go to the top and click File, Save As, and put it wherever you want to put it. I'm going to click Save, and now you have your basic mind map and we're ready to move on to the next tutorial where we'll talk about different ways to format your mind map.